I'm not gonna lie. I was making love to my PlayStation last night. I was having my fun. We stayed up all night. We had some food. We had some dinner. We took a long bath and I fingered the controller all through the night. But as I was doing that, I remembered something. I remember what brought us all together and that's the hatred of GameStop. I remember the sacred scripture that I traveled miles and miles to find. It is thou shall not shoppeth at GameStopeth because GameStopeth has bitch ass niggas that run the store. And when I remembered that, I just, I just felt some anger in me because it triggered a haunting memory and I'm going to show you that haunting memory right now. Now all together, let's see how many motherfuckers at this game stuff run around they all corner. How they all these cars in here. Ooh, talk. I already see them niggas. Hold on. Now y'all couldn't see it because of my poor camera angles, but there was a lot of people on the other side of the door. Shit! <laughs> Fuck! On Thanksgiving night, people made the conscious decision to not spend time with their families, not sit on a Zoom call and eat day-old Piccadilly food that they got because they don't know how to cook. They wanted a PS5. They also wanted an Xbox Series X, Series S, and they traveled throughout the land to find game stops that didn't have a lot of people camping out. And my God, we saw a lot of people with some creative minds, tents, chairs, uh, makeshift dummies, a bed. It was pandemonium. And while people were making fun of these individuals, I was hoping that every single person there secured a PS5. But then I remembered they're dealing with GameStop. And GameStop is known for being a bunch of scumbags, just having people who run the stores equally be more scumbags than you would expect. Of course, you got reports of people actively using their power at GameStop and being the store manager to scalp PS5s and ship them off on eBay. You have those horror stories. But the thing about Thanksgiving night, the thing about Black Friday morning is that GameStop hit a new low. And I don't know if this is for every single GameStop, but even if it is, Fuck GameStop for even implying that and having that shit set up. And this is coming from Camelot331. He's the one that has all this fancy guru information because he used to work for GameStop and everyone goes to him to tell them the horror stories about working at GameStop. And apparently, people were not aware that two consoles were possibly for sale. Two. Some cases, even one, maybe three, but let's just go with two for right now. Why did you not inform customers about the quantity of what was going to be there? Why did you let them sit out there for hours thinking that they had a plethora in stock? Now, of course, anyone who was paying attention before the PlayStations and the Xboxes were even available for pre-order, you knew that there were going to be limited quantities spread out throughout the world. You knew that, but people were still hopeful. And the thing about some ignorant people is that they seem to think that they could finagle their way into getting a secret stash, that if they yell and if they cry and they complain to the store manager, they could get that thing. It's like whining for pussy. It's like you see the girl, you want the girl, but you know the girl not gonna give it up. So you start trying to pump your chest, you try to flex your nipples, you try to just beg for pussy and you still don't get it. And, and that's what most people did in a lot of videos you'll see. You'll see people crying, you'll see people complaining, you'll see people getting mad, trying to fuck up the store manager as they're trying to get the key to open the door because they're scared because they know they're about to get jumped. But that's on you. That's on these store managers. That's on GameStop for telling these individuals, don't let anybody know that there are two PlayStations. Don't let anybody know that there are four Xboxes. Just let them sit in the cold for hours on end, possibly getting into fights with individuals about their spots in line because that's how desperate people were. Just let them sit out there and fucking suffer. And then the cherry on top, when it comes time to actually get these consoles, and you find out they only have two and four, and people are sitting there with a massive dick look on their face, just sell some accessories. Sell them a controller. They don't have the PS5. Here you go, buddy. You want this controller? It's $75. Here you go. Here, take it. I know you don't have a PS5, but here, take this big fuck you. I don't understand why GameStop thought that was a good idea. I, I, I really don't. Why would you 
feel the need to just do that to people. Because I remember when I went to GameStop during the second wave, they put on the door beforehand, there are four. And of course, I wasn't one of the lucky individuals to get one, but at least I knew how many they had and I went home. I didn't stay that entire time thinking that, oh, there's a secret one somewhere and I'm going to get it and I'm going to make sure that I complain loud enough to where they give me one because I deserve one. I stood out here all night. I stood out here. And so I think I deserve one. And, and that's the thing. You want to be mad at GameStop, but then again, you got to go at the customers too. You know they ain't got a lot. And you know once you see that big line of people, you see that big crowd, you know you ain't got no chance. If you're not one of the first two people, maybe even three, I'm hesitant to say four. If you're not one of those first few individuals, just go home. Don't even waste your time because you're not about to get one. Just, just try your luck another day because unless you're willing to jump one of these individuals as they walk into their car, you remember my plan, that skillful plan? If you're not willing to jump somebody, just go home. If you ain't got it in your conscience, just go home. Just honestly. And, and I'll say this because it's my motto. It's how I wake up. It would put a smile on my face. And I think you'll agree. I think this will put a smile on your face too. <clears throat> Fuck you, GameStop. But that's the video. I know I'm a week late on this topic, but I just wanted to let that out there because I genuinely just don't want to shop at GameStop anymore. Of course, it's going to be harder for me because now I have to trust Walmart to sell me things at a decent price, which we know they're not going to do. But but honestly, after that debacle, I'm done shopping at GameStop. But let me know, are you going to continue shopping at GameStop? Comment down below if you are. But in the meantime, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my Twitch account, follow me on everything that I have available, and I will see you in the next video. Fuck GameStop.